Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. We are in for a terrific day of teaching and learning. Let's get started with the morning announcements. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, and liberty for justice and all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat Affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I'm excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am, a un no, I am understanding of differences. I am a leader and I am a Bobcat. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. We don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow, maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon. In our school-wide events and activities, today, scholars, we will continue to take our Mastery Connect assessment. Today, scholars in Ms. Fleming's math classes will test 401 will test at 830, 402 at 1030, and Ms. Vo's class will be assessed in mathematics at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We will continue to announce brilliant bobcats and rising stars. We have some new inductees this morning. Now, scholars, Miss White was so excited that I uh, failed to tell you that Donuts with Dad is not today. It is tomorrow at 9 a.m. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Be sure to tell your dad, your father figure, your uncle, your grandfather to come to school tomorrow and let them know that we will have. Uh, our spirit gear company on site so that you can have them pick you up something to wear on Fridays. In addition to having donuts with dad in the morning, we will also have Clean Memphis coming for grade fives in school field trip. 502 
will have their time with Clean Memphis at 8.30 and 501 will have their time beginning at 9.20 a.m. Now, scholars, we hope that you enjoyed our third Bobcat Bonanza for this school year. I want to front load this because we are leading up to our first long break of the school year, and that is fall break. Fall break is in exactly 15 days. So, we are planning a really big celebration for Friday, October the 7th. We will do our first 15-day stretch for behavior. 15-day stretch for behavior. That means that you can only have four tallies or less for the next 15 days. You cannot be sent to Ms. Brookins, Ms. Colburn, Ms. Hodges, or myself for misbehavior. Now, if you have been with us at the Hill, you know that we love holiday breaks. We do it big. Make sure that your behavior is, is so good because I just, ooh, I just can't, I can't, I won't even spoil the surprise. I want you to know that this will be the best day. I'll just give you a preview. Um, one of, one, at one point uh, last year, we had pizza, juice, books, an extra, um, our extra time, and one, other extra special thing when we go out for all breaks that's fall break that's christmas break that's spring break we have a fun school-wide celebration you want to be a part of this number you will be so sad if you miss out on this so all we ask of you each day is for you to follow the three R approach. That's to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn in every space in the building. I know that you can do this. I am depending on you. I can't wait for us to have some fun. In our safety drill alerts, this week we will be practicing both our tornado drill expectations and our earthquake drill expectations. Scholars, both of these drills take place inside of the school building. Our tornado drill takes place outside of the classroom in the hallways. The expectation is for you to remain quiet to move quickly into the hall, to make sure that you space yourselves out, you crouch down to the floor, and you cover your head. And yesterday, we talked about our earthquake drill. This will be our first earthquake drill for the school year. For this drill, you are to drop to the floor, take cover under a desk or a table, and you are to hold on, put one arm on the desk or the leg of the table and the other arm over your head to protect your brain. 
teachers and scholars, we will be having both of these drills this week. Make sure that you practice with your grade level today. All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication facts, but today you must be ready. Today, we will be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So make sure you are paying close attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. 10 plus 8. 18. You are so smart. I know that you got it. Pat yourself on the back because I know that you got that one. Are you ready for Problem number two. Four times nine. Thirty-six kiss your brain. You are so smart. Twenty-two minus three. Nineteen. Yes, yes, yes. We are on a roll. Nine times two. Eighteen, raise your hand if you got that one correct today. Twelve minus six. Yes, the answer is six. That's one of our doubles. Did you get that one? Eleven times seven. Seventy-seven. I know you got that one because you know that anything times one is that same number so whichever number is not the one so it could have said 11 times 2 and you would have known it was 22 if it said 11 times 3 you would have said the answer was 33 so make sure you're studying your 11s 99 minus 9 90 yes 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 we're almost done i'm so proud of you for studying your hard facts 44 plus 36 80 and that was our last hard fact today give yourself a round of applause i'm so proud of each of you we'll be back tomorrow for some hard facts and our students in the spotlight today we are shining a light on one of our grade two scholars for continuing to build his brilliance last week cameron Collins tried to read all 100 of the level five word list. He's only in the second grade, but he's working on level five. Can you read the first 500? of the thousand words that you need to learn to be the best reader that you can be well cameron is well on his way to being a sight word genius and we couldn't be prouder of him it is that time scholars we are about to induct new scholars into our mastery connect brilliant bobcats proficiency club and our rising stars achievement academy let's see who we will be inducting today and our grade five inductees are Ronnie Swear, Miguel Nahara, Kaylee Carter, 
and Caleb Brown. Welcome to the Brilliant Bobcats for Grade 5 Reading on our Mastery Connect Assessment. And our rising stars are Mallory Beard, Alani Bradford, Lauren Avery Campbell, Cal Marion Crutcher, Thaddeus Holt, Angel Hunter, Naima Ivory, and Skylar Mitchell. Congratulations for being inducted as Rising Stars for Grade 5 ELA. And today's read aloud. Scholars, today is National No Excuses Day. Have you ever had a friend to ask you if you wanted to go to the movies, if you wanted to go to a party, if you just wanted to hang out, and you came up with some excuse for not going with them? Well, today's national holiday was put in place to remind us to choose to have fun and make memories with our friends so today i want you to think about that friend that person that wanted to just have fun with you but you said no not today you want to call them up you want to talk to them at lunch and recess and tell them, you know what, the next time you ask me to go out and have some fun, I am right there for it. So today is a reminder for us all to choose to have fun so that we can make some memories. Today's read aloud is entitled, Don't Squeal unless it's a big deal. Teachers, today's read aloud is a little over 13 minutes. So if you could carve out 14 minutes today so that you can read our read aloud and maybe after you finish with the read aloud, have a discussion with your class about things that are a big deal. Deal. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Together we must believe. Together we will achieve. Together we are real matter 901. How for time today or teacher learning.